Hello and welcome to the Cigar Area. Tonight, I'm going to take a step back into the mild medium range and try something I haven't tried before, which is the Drew Estate Under Crown Shade. This is a 6x52 Grand Toro. It's a beautiful cigar. It has a absolutely gorgeous Ecuadorian grown Connecticut wrapper. It's got some visible veinage there. And nice tight seams. Very weighty. A couple divots here and there, but no real soft spots. But it has some weight to it. Uh, it has a Sumatran binder, and the fillers are. Uh, Dominican Criollo 98 and then Nicaraguan Corojo and Criollos so it's a nice mixture and apparently the backstory to this is that Willie Herrera challenged the rollers to come up with a Connecticut blend and this is a completely different blend than the original Undercrown so, I'm anxious to try it. I have not tried one of these yet. It smells like sweet hay. Sweet hay. It's two bands. This is the uh, Undercrown symbol band, and then it has a band at the bottom that says shade. So, Let's see if I can slip this one off here. Somehow. Alright. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Undercrown. Okay, I'm a, also a big fan of the Liga Pravada number 9 and the T52 and whatever, whatever other sizes and blends they come up with but I really like the Undercrown it's one of my favorite cigars so now this is not I say this is a completely different blend than the Undercrown because if you've seen any of my other videos where uh, uh, they take a Connecticut wrapper and throw it on an existing blend to try to tweak it. I end up uh, most of the time not being very satisfied with them. Uh, but this is not an Undercrown with a Connecticut wrapper. This is a totally different, completely standalone blend under the Undercrown name. So. Kind of a light, sweet, nutty cold draw. So anyway, if I don't like it, I can't use that as an excuse. Oh, well, we just threw a Connecticut wrapper on the blend and tried to tweak it. Hopefully I won't need any excuses and I'll like it. Uh, most of the time, Drew Estate cigars don't disappoint. So... Nice easy draw. Ooh, ton of smoke. Initial first puff, nutty, a little spicy. I'm
the uh, Nicaraguan Corojo is probably responsible for the spice, but uh, You can see some potential here, but I'm going to stick with nutty and spicy for the initial puffs. Hmm. And as I said, this is uh, this is marketed as mild to medium. Usually not in the range that I smoke. But I'll tell you right, right now, if it continues on like it is, change my mind about that at any rate I'll be back after I venture into the first third okay welcome back to the cigar area <clears throat> as usual I just dropped a good three quarters of an inch of ash right in my lap right while I was turning on the camera so I had to stop and reboot there uh, Went a little crazy in the first third here. Um, with the undercrown shade, this thing's got a razor sharp char line here. I mean, it's burning perfectly. Tons of smoke. The flavors, the nuttiness from the start, still there. Uh, there's a creamy. It's not cedar, it's not really a coffee, it's just a creamy, it's got a creamy texture, tongue coating, very smooth, but with enough spice on the finish to make me happy. I like strong spicy cigars for a mild to medium cigar like this. It is mild as far as uh, body, it's medium in strength, but it has a nice little peppery kick on the finish that just makes me happy and uh, so far I'm I'm loving this uh, absolutely positively nothing like the original undercrown this is for the 50th time a different blend and a totally different cigar and a totally different flavor profile totally different body and strength and it's delicious so far yeah. like I said Drew Estate has a knack of uh, picking very fine tobacco and they also have a knack of uh, curing, preparing their tobaccos in unique and very uh, high performance ways, put it that way. When they put their mind to a blend or a tobacco, it usually comes out pretty spot on. And this is no exception. Uh, so I'm going to keep on going into the second third. And as I said, I'm enjoying every minute of this. So I'll be back shortly to see what happens. Welcome back. Just lost another three quarters of an inch of ash on my chair. I should just sit a big giant ashtray in my lap because my black chair is slowly turning gray never fails anyway in the second third of the underground shade uh, much the same as the first flavor wise strength wise body smoke same creamy creamy uh, 
main flavors creamy and nutty with a nice mild to medium spice on the finish only thing that's changed is this the burn went kind of haywire on me uh, I was letting it go not touching it up but I don't want it to go completely wonky on me so I'm gonna touch it up a bit here see if I can get it to go back it was razor sharp razor sharp f for most of the first and second portion but uh, yeah, these things happen I said I did feel a couple dips in it a couple divots so might have hit one of those At any rate, still tastes great. Like I said, still mild to medium, medium strength, creamy. There's doesn't taste like coffee. There's no baking spices in there. It's just nutty. It's a nutty. No leather, no, none of that kind of stuff. Just a nice, nice cream. I guess this is why guys like mild cigars. If they taste like this, I can understand why. Um, I do have some mild cigars in my humidor. I guess I'll have to break a few of them out. <laughs> I always push them to the side. Uh, I'll smoke that sometime. But, uh, and this is a, of course then this, I expected this to be good, and it is very good. So I'm going to continue on. Still could get some changes toward the end, you never know. So we'll see what happens. Okay, welcome back to the cigar area with the Undercrown Shade from Drew Estate. I had to take the band off because it burn was getting a little close. There was a <clears throat> slight change in the flavor in the final third. Uh, still have the creaminess, still have the nuttiness, still have the spice on the end, but the spice got milder. But there's a touch of cinnamon in there now. So there's a little, little baking spice sweetness going through there as well. Uh, and after I straightened that burn out, it's uh, burned pretty nicely since then. About back to the uh, just about razor sharp burn. So all in all, <coughs> uh, great cigar. I mean, it's a mild to medium in body, medium strength at, at best. Even with that little spice on the end, it's no more than a medium. Uh, flavors, creaminess, nuttiness, little spice, little sweet cinnamon toward the end. Uh, no heat, no resins, no residue buildup. It's just, I'm gonna keep on smoking this. Uh, for a while yet other than that little bit of a dive in the burn there uh, it's, it's a, a nearly perfect smoke uh, definitely a 10 out of 10 in my book um, I can't for the life of me remember how much I paid for this I would imagine it's probably in the eight to ten dollar range. 
I didn't, didn't really look it up. I, I've had this for a while. A couple of months, uh, at least. It's been in my humidor. Um, would I buy another one of these? Yes. If it's 10 bucks, yes. I would buy another one. I've been smoking it for two hours and about 10 minutes. Uh, just a great smoke. Nothing like the original Undercrown, which pleases me to no end. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos where they slap a Connecticut wrapper on a blend and it doesn't work out for me. Uh, there are some good cigars like the, the Punch, Sucker Punch, which has a nice Connecticut light wrapper on it. But it's a blend that's made to smoke that way. Now there are some other ones that have come out recently. Uh, Diesel Uncut, which I don't think I reviewed either of those, the, the Diesel Uncut or the Diesel Uncut Connecticut. Uh, the um, Black Abyss has a Connecticut. I've smoked all those and they're they're good. They're very good. Um, but this is a unique blend. Not just it's not an undercrown with a Connecticut wrapper on it. It's a different blend and it's quite quite good. So highly recommend it. If you like undercrowns, taste nothing like an undercrown, but it's the same quality, it's the same uh What's the word I'm looking for? It's the same essence of a cigar. I mean, it's it's a unique uh, flavor profile. It's a unique blend. So if you're in the mild to medium range, fan of that kind of cigar, definitely try one of these out. Until next time, and thanks for tuning in. Please check out my other videos on YouTube and on my website, thescarareria.com. I'm Mike Simmons. Thanks for tuning in. Happy smoking. Watching this